please, my name is Aya Elizabeth Olaogun and it is amazing, it is always a pleasure to be back on H Right Africa where I get to passionately talk about food and health and your nutrition. So today we're going to be talking about lactose. What is lactose? Are you intolerant? How do you feel after you've consumed milk? How much milk do you need to consume on a regular basis? And uh, what is actually the major benefit of consuming milk? One of the reasons why uh, doctors would advise you to you know, add milk or dairy products to your diet is because of the calcium, right? So calcium is a very good uh, nutrient for the bone growth and most times you, tell, you find adverts and parents trying to feed their children with more milk. But then, quite a huge number of Africans are intolerant to lactose. And lactose is the sugar that is in milk. So lactose is a carbohydrate and we're intolerant because we don't have the enzyme that breaks it down in our bodies. So um, you need to begin to understand your body and study what happens to you about 30 minutes after you've consumed um, lactose. So some of us are actually fine if we do about a quarter of a liter, uh, which is about, you know, this amount of milk. And uh, some of us cannot, we can't, we can't do lactose at all. It means that once you take it, you, once you consume milk, you run into the toilet, you have diarrhea, you're bloated, you, you want to stool the whole time, um, you, you feel cramps, you feel nausea, it's like different kind of symptoms, okay? So the thing about being lactose intolerant is that it is very body specific. You need to understand how your body reacts to milk. And then there are lots of different kinds of foods that contain milk. Some people use milk when they bake, sometimes you buy cookies or cakes or ice creams and they contain milk. Now, some of you will react to those kind of products and some of you wouldn't. Now, some of us will react to just milk. So in Nigeria, for example, uh, in the city that I live in, in Lagos, it's very easy to come about the powdered milk. I cannot drink this at all. It doesn't work for my body at all. So if it's like uh, processed and it's uh, fresh milk, which is really, really hard to come by in Nigeria or in Lagos in particular because uh, I guess because of electricity issues and we just don't have so many farms who uh, produce and make milk. Um, we have the condensed milk. I can't consume this at all. It just doesn't work for me. And this is the uh, UHT milk, which is uh, ultra high temperature milk. And uh, I could do like a bit of this in coffee. And then we have soya milk. So the advantage of soya milk over this kinds of milk is that uh, it doesn't have lactose because it's not from cow milk, it's from soya beans. So if you want an alternative, you can go for soya milk. However, um, I don't like soya milk if I get them from the packs in the supermarkets in Lagos because they contain a lot of food additives. They contain a lot of like food chemicals, if you get what I mean. And um, I try to keep that out of my diet as much as possible. All right, my lovely parents out there, be sensitive and listen to your children when they talk about how they feel after you've given them milk. A lot of us cannot really tolerate uh, milk. All right, lovely, so milk and uh, dairy products are not must-have foods for adults. So if you leave them out of your meal completely, you'll be fine, okay? There's nothing to worry about because there are vegetables that contain calcium and there are other kind of foods that contain calcium so you wouldn't have like a calcium deficiency. Hi lovelies, if you're an absolute huge fan of milk, maybe because you love your cereals and you love your oats and you just cannot leave out your milk, uh, what you could do, for example, is number one, you might want to think about lactase enzyme tablets. That's the enzyme that helps you to break down lactose properly so that you don't feel sick after consuming milk. Uh, what you can also do is go for milk that does not contain lactose. That means you can go for soy milk if you find a really good one that doesn't contain a lot of additives and food chemicals. Or you can go for coconut milk or almond milks, you know, do more milks that are not from an animal. And what you could also do is maybe consume it with certain kinds of food and you won't feel so sick. However, your body is very different from mine, from his, from hers. So um, you would have to discover and just listen to your body, see how you react to consuming milk at certain times with what kind of food so that you know if you can continue to um, consume milk. All right, my lovelies, I personally am not a fan of super processed foods. Uh, the less processes your foods go through, 
the better they are, the healthier they are. So you may want to leave out all those kinds of milk from your diet. It's absolutely up to you. If you love Patriot right Africa and together with me, you like us to build a healthier nation, uh, give me a thumbs up, leave me your comments, write me and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.